Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michael here, and today we are, oh, this is episode three of my Xbox One survival guide on Xbox One edition of Minecraft, the discontinued version. And well, this is the next day, and almost well, ten o'clock at night. So. Yeah, I've quite late it is, and I'm planning on recording two videos. By the way, did a lot of mining off camera. Let's I'll go down and show you, because I thought, well, this episode we're going to be um, moving out of this house because this is just a temporary house, and that's you know why I did the staircase, and I usually do a ladder down. So, you saw me do this one, and start doing this one, and start this one, and I've done this one, not done this one, not done this one, and done these two, and by the time I did the these two, I was so tired I couldn't be bothered to do these, but I've done six out of eight of the tunnels, and I'm going to just leave these here just in case like say in the future I do a video like with someone like say I get someone on split screen or maybe get a friend to join then like early on they can have like this house to um just you know get started and just settle in yeah, and as you can see, we've got a lot of resources. I did make a diamond pickaxe and got 17 obsidian because that's the amount I like to get. But you only need 14 obsidian minimum for four for an enchantment table and at least 10 for a nether portal. Uh, 14 for a full nether portal, just the base, well, the smallest you can make a nether portal. Lowest amount of obsidian you need is 14. I like to have, uh, I like to get 17 cores. I like to put two corners on my nether portals. I like to put it into the ground so two are blocked by the ground so you can't see them, and the other two um, top corners with obsidian. So it looks like it's a full nether portal, but it's only got 12 obsidian. Um, obviously, I need the four for the um, enchantment table. And if you're wondering what the extra one's for, it is, well, I like to put a block underneath, well, a block of obsidian underneath the. Um, enchantment table, and sometimes I think well, uh, I I I like to uh, put glass around it so you can see it because you know the bottom of the enchantment table is literally obsidian, so it kind of matches, yeah. And um, as you can see, I got twenty seven diamonds while mining, and like I said in the last episode, I was mining the diamonds and not leaving them because you know we're moving out. And I did make redstone blocks to reduce storage. I might make some diamond blocks. And as you can see, I've got 60 iron, so I've got a lot of iron. So we're just going to get to sleep now. So we're quite stacked early on. Yeah, this is literally the third episode. And we've already got full iron gear. Got for an iron axe. And we've got 27 diamonds and a diamond pick. And enough obsidian and quite a bit of food so plan of action is going to be well we're going to um, well I'm just gonna take a screenshot real quick uh, with the map so we don't forget about where the house is if we travel too far so basically we're going to go exploring for a good place to build a house and obviously because I've got too much stuff in this chest to carry it's literally full I don't have enough room in my inventory to carry it all we're just gonna leave it here for now and come back for it but we are going to get a basic setup to set up yeah I think I'll take the furnaces the crafting table and I'll take the bed with me we'll leave uh, everything in the mine sorted like I said 
and we are going to take my chest but this is like just a small temporary room and just a small mine in case anyone well, I get anyone on the server and they can just you know have this for a little bit like this is like home base at the spawn because you literally spawn about around about here so it's literally right next to it yeah and as soon as we get to the vicinity of the house obviously we've got the big pillar so we'll know and i will take a little bit with us like i'll take the riches and the extra food and i'll take the diamond pick shears i'll take the wool I'll take a, some of the, I'll take like most of the cobblestone and the lapis and well, let's just leave the wool here for now, obsidian coal. Right, just take the really important stuff with us to start with. Um, so we are quite, well we're like in the centre of the world almost but quite close to the bottom left corner so I think we're gonna go north to start with and just fill out as much of this map as possible and so far I this episode I haven't really been uh, doing much tutorial except for the obsidian part yeah like well on console edition you start with a map like I explained in the first episode and if you're playing on a small map like me or classic there is a world border um on the th on the first map so this map will show the whole world and you can expand like i said in the first episode I went really in depth on the menu and like creation of the world so you know that as long as you've watched all the episodes if not go and watch all the episodes before you watch this one because it won't make sense, really. Well, that's if... Well... In the description of the first episode, I've put a certain time to skip to if you already know how to make a world properly and you just want survival, or if you just want survival let's play or gameplay, then just go to about 11 minutes 10 seconds in because that's about that's literally what well, about three seconds later so you got to wait three seconds then and i click create worlds and it doesn't last long before it's created oh look at all these sheep right this is a nice area oh yeah so we got a nice flat area over here a steep well a Higher, flat-ish area here. I thought that was a village over there, but it's not. But we got nice flat land here, nice flat land here, a nice hill here. Let's like make a staircase up and have like a house on here. And we could have a bridge over the water. Yeah, I've got some nice ideas for this. So I think, well, this is Y64. So I think we'll set up camp here. Just get rid of some of these seeds and if you put a water bucket down it will get rid of any tall grass and it will give you the seeds but obviously I've got a full inventory so I can't actually pick up the seeds. Right so here's the setup and I'm going to make a double chest right here uh, so I can empty everything out into it and we're going to go get the rest of the stuff momentarily. So I'll leave, well I'll keep that but I'll just leave all the wood stuff uh, uh, here to save in more space. I'll put all these seeds in the chest and we're going to venture back and I, seeing as we didn't travel too far, wait. I, I know what to do. I'm gonna take a screenshot of the new base location. See, as we don't need the screenshot of the old one anymore, we'll take one of this place so we never forget. Well, we'll take another one once we've got our house built. You know, this, that's just a basic general area. 
and when we got the house we'll take a screenshot in the house so we have the exact coordinates of the house well that was a creeper then was in the trees but I do remember the general area of where the house was because I saw and a look on the map before I left of the general area it's like it's literally in like that forest there where's the current in the uh, pillar yet or uh, yeah, yeah I see it I see the pillar it's in this direction yeah And by the way, if you're wondering how to craft anything and you're on this version, then stop wondering, because as long as you don't have classic crafting enabled, then, well, literally, it's worked like this, so you just need to have the right um, materials to craft, then you can craft it, yeah. Right, so that's as much stuff as I can grab now. And I'm gonna, you know, just drop this off at the new base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where it is on the map. But I might need to use the screenshots a bit more later in the series. Oh, God. Right, and I'm not sure if I've showed you this yet. Well, actually, yeah, I did with the pillar, but yeah, if you jump off a cliff with a water bucket and place it down in the, at the perfect time, it will break your fall and you can pick it back up. Yeah, but you need to make sure you get it at the right time, or you will. Or if it's too if it's too uh, high or a drop, then you will die. If not, you'll just take a bunch of damage. And I. Well, I, on my Xbox 360 world I made it a few days ago. Well, basically, when I was about to go off, I tried to put a water bucket at the bottom of my mine. So I decided to MLG down and then put the water there. And I placed the water bucket a fraction of a second too late and died and lost all my stuff. And I just went off the world and went to get it back in the next... Well, the next day in real life. Oh god. No, I don't want the food. Right, now that we've not got much left, I'm just gonna grab my essentials. Just the four essentials. Oh just realize. Night is coming, so I'm gonna go sleep before I go back to the house. Right, by the way, guys, I know the genuine area of the sun when you can sleep. You know, you know, some people just spam. Uh, but if you wait till it's about half way direct, or like directly in front of you, like. See the mountain as once it's mostly in there, mostly behind, and you can see the least amount of it. You should be able to sleep, like a few pixels on the top. Then you can sleep. It's a genuine time. Instead of just spamming it and waiting until it lets you sleep, you can just wait till you know when to sleep. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't just spam because I know genuine time when you can sleep. So I just wait till then and then click the bed. Instead of just wasting time and energy, just spamming the bed. Yeah. And we're not really going to be killing many of the animals around this place uh, early on because, you know, we need to set up a farm. So we're going to save them for the farm. 
yeah. I'm pretty sure I discussed uh, conserving animals in the first episode, or in the second. Well, basically what I mean is, I've gone over it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I said, if you are going to live around the area of your spawn, or wherever you've dug into for the first night, then I would conserve your animals so you can make an animal farm. That's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's why I said, something like that. So I've kind of gone over it already, but I'm just, you know, uh, going over it a second time. Double checking, make sure you know it. Right, so, should be able to just mine the chest and grab it all. Yep. Right. It's uh, also uh, one of the other reasons why I did so much mining. It's because, it, you know, I didn't want it to go to waste. But I also just really felt like mining, you know. Uh, I enjoy mining a lot of mining. So I like to just sometimes do a bunch of mining like that. So, I, you know, I enjoy mining. So I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. But eventually... You do get fed up and bored and you just don't want to continue and you just want to do something else. Yeah. You know, we're like only 16 and a half minutes in. So, you still got ages left of this video, by the way. Well, you probably know that because before you click on the video, you know how long the video is. It says. But obviously, because I'm recording it, I don't know the exact amount of time it's going to be recorded for. But I know it's it's between 40 and 50 minutes, usually, these episodes. Yeah, you know, I used to make half an hour videos because my memory card wouldn't let me do anything more. But now, well, I've got a new memory card and I've not entered it into my phone, so I don't know how much I can do with it at the minute. But I will find out for future videos, so I don't know how much I can record for each minute, uh, for each video. But at the minute, you're gonna be getting the fourth between forty and fifty minute videos, and I'm not sure what I need, what I want to use my diamonds for at the minute. But well, I've got enough. To make a full set of diamond armor and like an axe or something. Yeah, I was planning on um what well, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I was thinking about it. Yeah, I was either gonna make full armor and either an axe and a sword or a sword and a shovel or uh every full diamond armor except for a helmet and make the full tools. I wasn't sure exactly. So we'll, we'll We'll figure out at a later date. Well, at the minute, we don't even have a house yet, so we're gonna. Well, obviously, we just moved out the old house, but we're going to. Well, it only took us about eighteen minutes to get moved over here, so I think what we should do now is begin to build the house. And if you want to make a uh, nice looking house in Minecraft. What I'd recommend using is a, a nice wood choice of your, well, a wood of your choice that you like. Cobblestone. So I, I, I recommend having logs, planks, and cobblestone, at least. You can, you can make the cobblestone to stone or stone bricks if you want. And you can have extra different types of stone and stuff like that. But, like, um, the mineral blocks don't look... Good for building, just giving you, you know, because this is survival guide, I'm giving you hints and, you know, um, well, telling you how a good house looks, how you can build a good looking house. And sometimes you can even apply wool to our build and it looks quite good. Yeah, I saw that on another survival guide and I do use it for some of my builds now, not all of them, not many of them actually, but wool can cut, look quite good in a build, you know, like say, 
for like a wall or something like yeah it, it doesn't look too bad of a resource but only problem about using wool is it's expensive early game but if you're late game and you got tons and tons of wool then go ahead but if you're like early game and literally uh, like I only have five wool of the colour I'd use so I'm not really going to use wool and first of all I don't really like building with spruce uh, my favourite type of wood is oak, but I, sometimes, I do sometimes use spruce for like the floors and stuff, but that's very rarely. I do uh, use oak, like in most of my builds, because it's such a good resource in my opinion. But I do occasionally, quite, well not that occasionally, I do it quite, well, I think birch wood is a decent material as well. Like, I use it mainly for, like, the uh, the framework of a house. A lot more than... Well, sometimes I do use it for the walls and for the floor, but I think it look, the planks look too bright. But the logs look nice for a, fl a frame. Like, say, you know, around the house you put a frame of logs. It looks quite good. And I think birch... Yeah, the birch logs look quite nice. But the birch planks, in my opinion, for most builds are quite bright, so I don't use them in like all my builds. I do sometimes use it for like the floor and stuff, but I think it's better as the log form for like the framework of a house. But it is really up to you what you use. Um, but I'd recommend using logs, planks, and cobblestone at least. Maybe changing it up the cobblestone, maybe applying a bit of cobblestone, maybe making it look a bit, uh, well, like aged, like with some like andesite, granite or diorite in it to make it look like it's been around a long time and, well, you know, it's like um, wearing a wave, you know, it, what I mean. And maybe uh, make this cobblestone into some like stone bricks or something. I sometimes use cobblestone for like the base layer of my house, like say, well, just quick um, uh, diagram, like say that, then logs on top, and then planks for the walls. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. And sometimes I like to go like down to the very bottom of the um house with the frame but i don't do that often well i actually use cobblestone quite often no bills but i don't do it like that often i did in my uh computer world 1.20 yeah that is my in my house that's how i've built my house um but i don't I uh, usually build like that. That's how I used to build. But now I have learned how to build better houses. And one key factor of a house is the shape. And just adding a frame that sticks out of the house, making the frame and then the walls, like one block further back, has really good shape. So that is how I like to do it. I'll show you what I mean. Like, how I build my houses, but I do kind of need to make it like an iron axe so that I can get some more uh, wood in the morning. I'm almost 25 minutes into this video. Oh. <sighs>
Alright, so it's morning now. By the way, I was just having a drink, that's why I was silent. Now I'm going to get some more wood. So we've got quite a lot of wood to start building this house. When I'm getting the wood for my house, I tend to get about a stack. Sometimes I go extra and get like maybe two stacks, three stacks, but it's usually about a stack. Sometimes I do go slightly extra and go like three and a half, well one and a half. Sometimes up to two or three stacks, but it's usually about a stack. But if you're going to make a big house, like I usually do, then it's probably best to get about two or three stacks. But if you're only going to make a small house uh, that you can expand on or something like that, then I'd recommend maybe just getting about a stack like me. But I build a very big house that needs a lot of wood, so I have to get wood loads of times in my builds. Because I keep running out. So I think I'm probably going to get about maybe two and a half stacks. And I'll be right back once I've finished. Okay guys, I've just finished mining my wood. I've got just over three stacks of logs, so I went a bit overboard. I also found a bit of extra sugar cane, like... Literally over there, so I grabbed it. Also, while I was doing that, I did a lot of thinking. And I thought, well, so this is meant to be a survival guide crossed with a Minecraft series. And I'm doing a very good job at that. Because, well, you know, I'm doing very little tutorial. But basically, like, I'm doing, like, a Minecraft series. But, like, everything I do, I do explain it. A little bit so it's still like a tutorial but I'm getting a lot of things done I'm not going like super in detail about everything I'm just going over the basics really and what you need to know to start off later in the series I'll probably get a lot more about tutorial than series so if I were you, I'd enjoy it, uh, this much, like, s story, you know, like, just series content, just a, a survival Minecraft uh, Let's Play content instead of, like, tutorial content. Because it's probably going to end up being uh, mostly <laughs> tutorial. So, if I were you, you know, I'd just soak it all in. And make the most of it if I were you. If you know what I mean, like just make sure you enjoy the video and like you watch the whole thing and like make the most of how select Evil Minecraft Let's Play it is at the minute. And those of you that are watching this for a tutorial, then obviously you know. You're probably learning quite a bit from this. And later in the series, you'll be learning a lot more, a lot quicker. Because I'll be going, like, at the minute, we're just going over the basics of everything. And later in the series, we'll be going over, like, the details of everything. Like, we'll do, like, an introduction on everything, which is what we're doing at the minute. Like, we did first night's uh, introduction to like cobblestone, iron, stuff like that. Then next episode, we did an introduction to mining. Just told you how to make a simple mine and simply how to mine for diamonds simply. And um, how, what to do with mining, how to enchant. Went, got a lot of information in to a long video. So, it wasn't, you know, just full of information. It was spread out and it was felt like a proper series. Just like a normal survival video. Not going in, not like teaching anything too much. But we were teaching a lot. So, this is, well basically what I'm saying is, well this is meant to be a survival guide that is crossed with a series. So basically a tutorial slash series. 
and I'm making well I'm I'm doing it re really well basically so I'm you know combining them really well so those of you that need the information so you can get better at Minecraft you're getting the information but you know not you're not being overwhelmed which is good and those of you that are just tuning in for a uh, Survivor Minecraft Let's Play, then you're getting a lot of gameplay. And, you know, like, just survival Let's Play guy uh, vibes. So, basically, no matter if you're just looking for a tutorial or just a survival series, then this is, like, the perfect series for you. Because it can teach other people how to do so, and it's good. Just, just a good let's play for those that want a good let's play. Let's, let's play. But those of you that don't like Minecraft, then well, this is in the video for you. Clearly, because it's completely Minecraft. So I'd recommend if you don't like Minecraft, maybe check out some of the other videos on my channel. But that's only if you don't like Minecraft. And Minecraft is, like, I'm pretty sure it's the most popular game in the world. So most of my viewers probably like Minecraft as a game. Because it's literally the most popular, pre pretty much the most popular game in the entire world right now. And it's it's been through a hard time, like, being taken over by Microsoft. Them not giving it like, for an update for a long time, and... First update they, they did was the combat update, I'm pretty sure, which got a lot of the old Minecrafters out of the game. So, just made them stop playing because they didn't enjoy it. And a lot of the old players that did stay, just stayed on 1.8, uh, like with uh, combat. You know, just because of the combat. So they didn't get any of the new stuff. But then they started adding better stuff. Like they did like added mansions. Then they added like coloured beds in 1.12. And then they did the aquatic update. So they revived Minecraft after ruining it in a, in a way. But ruining the experience for many people. And personally... Uh, I like the new combat on Java. Cause first of all, you can get a lot more XP, and that's one thing uh, I don't like about console is it's very hard to get XP. Cause like you make an XP farm, you're hitting one at a time, and you're not getting much XP. But on uh, Java, where you've got the sweeping edge, and that gives you a lot more XP, meaning it's a lot easier to get XP. And by the way. I've Past two Minecraft days, pretty much. After it's been going on about Minecraft and the series, so I've not got any progress done. Only been clearing out the area, so I've got a little bit of uh, progress done. But I mean, like, I've not started building this house yet. I think we'll build it. Start building it about, I'd say, here. Get the first pillar down, and well, maybe like just get. That for base, like I was saying before. Yeah. And then if we put planks on top of these. Yeah, I like... I'm just going to put some more of that. So, I want, like, in on the inside it to be, like, maybe ten blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then go one more to go this way, and then just go up four on this. Yeah, so this is one of well, a quite you well, a well used um way of building by well, it's used by a lot of people basically, a lot of people that enjoy building in Minecraft. And they build, you know, good houses. But houses that look really good. Then this is like the one of the most used techniques out there. And I'm pretty sure 
I learned this from watching one of, you know, Grimm's videos, you know, the, like, expert builder on YouTube. I learned this from, like, him. Watching a few of his tutorials. I've not watched many of his tutorials. But I've watched enough. I've watched about maybe three or four. And it's really improved my building. Literally, I used to build, literally, like, so he made a video, like, first he made a video on, like, how to improve a basic house and, like, how not to build. And when I, wa before I watched them, that was the way I used to build. So, yeah, it really helped me improve. Yeah. Right, so we've got the the base done. So I don't think we need really any more cobblestone. And I think yeah, I'm gonna make a few stairs. So I need I'm, I'm gonna need a bunch of planks. So I think I'm just gonna make the rest of this stack of logs into planks, cause they're gonna come in useful, will be useful. So I'll just make one lot of uh, stairs for now. And I've got some more spruce doors, but I want to use oak doors for this. So, just put that in there. So, where's the middle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is the door. Sometimes it does that, and if it does, then you have to break it and get it right because if it's like well if i try and get that again literally opens like that and it doesn't work like a double door and you know that's how you want it and i like to get um planks underneath the doors but it is up to you you can leave the stone if you want but you know, this is just the way I like to build it, and I like to do like extra stairs. Sometimes, sometimes I do it like that. Sometimes I do it good. I think I'm just gonna go for the two stairs on this house actually, which I don't usually do, but we're gonna roll with it. Yeah. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in the floor. So we've got proper floor sorted. So we've got quite a bit of room in this house, it's 10 by 10, meaning we've got 100 blocks in this house on the floor. Yeah, I just, that's quick math for you. Yeah, but basically, it's not, well, it's easy quick math because everyone, well, not, most people know that 10 times 10 is 100. So, it's not very tricky, quick math. Like, most people know it, so... You can't really correct that knowing that. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to do... Well, on the front, I've done three blocks I wall. Uh, this one, well, for the well, I'm just gonna do one, one of the first block for these, and just figure out where we're gonna do like windows, because that's what I I like to figure that out. And I do like to go one block higher. So I think. We'll do that. Well, I can change it later, but you know, like it's just there for now. Yeah, let's just get this frame sorted. So, uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the floor like that, and I'm probably gonna do slabs for the second floor. Save wood.
I think I'm gonna do logs like that there. Uh, by the way, I did hear that Enderman. He's right there. Might be worth attacking. And I'm quickly going to. Well, it's getting dark, but I'm gonna quickly show you. If he if he comes back, I'm gonna quickly show you an an easy way of killing an Enderman safely. You know, like in the early game, you need to be worried about safety when attacking Enderman because they are very dangerous mobs. But I think he's I think he's gone, unfortunately. Yeah, he looks like he's it looks like he's gone. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like he's gone. So we just gotta quickly. Oh, oh, he's still there. I saw him. Is he just up here? Where is that enemy gone? Where is he gone? I literally saw him a second ago. I want to show you guys this method. Like, there's different methods. Like, there's the boat method, which I'll show you later in the series. That's one I use mostly. For most of the time, I use that method for hunting Enderman in the lake. Well, like, when we're looking for Enderman, like, once we're ready for the end of the dragon fight, almost. Yeah. I go the way I try and get Enderman. Yeah, by the way, the bed works in a specific way, you know, like, you can't sleep in the day. And... Um, if there's monsters nearby, you can't sleep. If you're too far away from the bed, you can't sleep either. I'm just going to have one more look for this enderman. And I know we slept, so it's day again, which means he's probably gone. But I'm still going to have just one more swoop round. Just to make sure he's gone. Because I would like to show you this method as early on as possible. But we have got that uh, small mound dug out now, so... We do have it for future references. Yeah. Right. So let's get uh, working on this house now. I'm just going to grab a little bit of dirt. So that I can just pile up. You know. Well, you know what? Here. I think it's fine because... Well, we're probably going to be doing that anyway. Because I like um, having, well, you know, the corners. I don't like having just panes, like, straight there. I like having a block before the panes. Yeah. I've been doing that since, ev well, even since um, having the frames inside the walls. Because I don't like the look of having glass panes right next to logs. I prefer it just in depth into the planks i think i'm just gonna use the last part i'm gonna make like a couple of stacks of planks here finish off that oh god so we've got three stacks now i did accidentally make extra so i've got two less logs here so i thought i've got grabbed plenty of wood for this house but it turns out i was wrong <laughs> I didn't get plenty. I only got enough for about probably about only the first floor. Maybe enough to get started on the second floor. Uh but that might be pushing it if, a little bit if you know what I mean. Like might be pushing us to the edge of the wood that we have. So we have got some more logs. Yeah, and we're just gonna quickly with the these planks, we're going to plan out the windows. I think maybe like that. Have two, three windows. Maybe on this wall. Maybe have. Let's try this. Like three windows of four. 
I've got to put these in. Yeah, we can try it. Maybe on this wall, just match the other wall. Then these, we can just like match the back wall. But obviously, not have the middle one because the door's in the way. Yeah, this is a similar to design to my world on, well, my house on that Xbox 360 world I told you about. And we are coming to the edge of this video because we're on 45 minutes in. So, oh, I've just realised something. Can't have the, um, it like that. You know what, Mark? I might just keep it like that. Nah. I think we'll try just the three windows on each wall. Phew! <laughs> So well, I think we're just going to quickly make a ladder. Yeah, we're going to do a ladder up to the second floor because that's what I usually do. So nine ladders should be enough, actually. Probably going to be one short to the full thing. You know, because this is going to be where the floor is. Meaning we still need one more for this. And I do like to make the ladder all the way up to the ceiling. So we're going to need some more ladders. So basically we're going to need like another nine. So yeah, so that should be plenty just for the house main part. But in my, my Xbox 360 world, I did do my mine here, but I am thinking about putting it somewhere else, like maybe on this side, or this side, or back there, you know, just to change it up a bit. Don't like to do the same thing everywhere, because then it gets boring. Yeah, so I'm going to go five blocks up. Because that's the level we're going to connect to. Right. Right, I need two more. So I'm just going to place the five here. Got my dirt. There we go, that's the logs up to the right level, but we haven't connected them yet, which is alright. And I think we're just going to use the last of the planks, and then I think we're going to end this video. Right, so I think, well, we're going to... Do the walls like this. So I might just do the frame of the walls. Then, well, we still got another stack, so I think I might just get the walls mostly done. Well, I'll get the frame. So let's do this row. And just get these next two uh, ladders down. And I think I'll just move my crafting table into the house. Save me coming out every time. You know, coming out of the house to um, use it. So uh, we're going to just make the last of our planks into slabs and that might be uh, too many to be honest but might not be anyway I'll probably use this extra if we have any extra slabs I'll probably use them in the roof and well in my world I like get to the stage where my house is you know like fully built except for the roof 
and I usually end up quitting the world and you know starting a new world before I end up building a roof. So my house is just a roofless house for the whole of my time in that world because you know like I say I left I leave the world literally before I do the roof. That is quite common with me to be honest. Probably too common for me to do that. I do it way too much. But on these two survival worlds, we're most likely going to get a proper roof done because, well, you know, this is going to be a long term series. You know, it's, it's, well, I'm recording it, so I want it to be as long. Well, I want to make sure it's a long world, not just one that I usually do. So, you know, like, play it for a few days in real life and then just start a new world we're gonna be keeping these two series going for quite a long time probably even finishing the worlds off so basically we'll um you know kill the ender dragon of course but also like we'll um well Well, we'll get a nice uh, base set up, so we'll have a nice place to live. So, you know, this is going to be our house, probably for the rest of the world. The, you know, the rest of our time in this world. So we're probably not going to get another world, well, another house in this world. Yeah. But, um, kind of forgot what I was saying now. Um, well, basically, we're going to get a nice, like, town-ish set set up. Like, we'll have our house, chest room, house, enchantment house, maybe. Maybe get some small village houses, bring some villages over. Just have a nice time playing Minecraft. And we'll, you know, defeat both bosses, you know, we'll defeat the Ender Dragon and the Wither, both in this world, probably quite soon. And we'll probably fight the Ender Dragon at least twice, probably soon as well, because literally the other day, on my main survival world, I fought the Ender Dragon twice. I literally killed it, got on Elytra, went back to the overworld. Just flew around for a bit, then I made some more fly fireworks, and back into the end, and fought the Ender Dragon with my elytra, and it was really fun. So I'll probably uh, do that again, but with you guys on the video. But I'm just gonna go to the top floor and do my outro. Oh god! So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. And like the videos I upload. Comment down below what you want to see me uh, record. What what kind of videos you want to see. What games you want to see me play. Um, so at the minute. Like I said we're going to have two videos. Uh, once a week. It's basically one day each week. We're going to have two videos of this series out. And every week we're going to have. Two days of two videos of the um, 1.20 uh, series out every week. And that's going to be my schedule for now. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Do everything I said. Ring the bell as well. I've been forgetting to say ring the bell uh, in these videos. But if you ring the bell, it'll notify you every time I upload a video. As soon as one's uploaded, you can be one of the first people to see the video. And, like, you can, like, see if it's a good video. You can, like, approve of it, if, if you know, for yourself. 
yeah. But hope you enjoyed and do everything I said. And I'll see you guys next time. Good. Bye.